Hey YouTube, it's SMC iPod Pro, and it's been a while since I last made a video, um, but I have been keeping on track of jailbreaking. Uh, currently I'm running the 3.1.2 firmware, um, which is actually a really easy jailbreak, so I don't think I'm going to make a video on how to do that. Uh, you can look it up, but it's the simplest jailbreak you'll ever do. Um, so today I'm going to show you a cool feature that I found. Uh, it's called... Well, it's using a um, program called Back, Backgrounder and Multiflow. And what it allows you to do is have multiple applications running at the same time. And you can flip between them uh, very easily. Um, so you could have uh, Facebook chat open along with um, your internet and be searching for something. And you won't, or you'll have internet connection on both. So it won't like log you out of Facebook when you go on uh, internet. So basically what it's going to look like is you're going to double tap your home screen or your home button, sorry, and it'll come up with a screen that shows all the tabs you have um, or all the applications that you've had selected. So like I have Facebook, Internet, and um, my music player. So then all you do is like click on one and it'll open up music, for instance, and I can double click, go on to Internet, and so it's really um, nice and really seam seamless going from app to app like that. Um, so what you're gonna have to do is open up Cydia to start out. This can take a while, so I'll come back once it loads. All right, so it's just about loaded up. Um, I wanted to use this time to um, talk about um, Rock, which is another downloading uh, program that's similar to Cydia. Um, Basically, it's another IC, but better. So if you're using Rock, it'll work just the same as if you're opening Cydia. Um, so it'll probably load up a lot faster than this is taking. So if that's what you're doing, uh, that'll work just fine. All right, so it finally finished loading. And I'm going to go in the bottom and click on Manage, Sources, and then Edit, and Add. And you're going to add the repo called repo dot be your iPhone dot com forward slash. So that's what it should look like. I'll zoom in on that. So that's what you're going to type in. And once you have that typed in, you're going to click add source and it should reload that and uh, so once you have that in you can go into the search tab click search you're gonna search backgrounder b a c k g r o u n d e r alright hit search and the first two applications that pop up are both uh, backgrounder the first one is for any two point something firmware. Um, the second one is for any 3 point something firmware. So right now I'm running 3.1.2 so I'm gonna click the 3.01 you're gonna click that and then for you it'll say install so you'll click install in the top and confirm so you'll get that installed then you'll go back to the search and you're going to search for multi-flow MU L T I F L and that's all you need. It'll come up with two. Oh, sorry, it's kind of lagging really badly on the uh, computer here. One second. There we go. Sorry about that. It was uh, lagging quite a bit behind. Um, once you search multi-flow, you'll come up with two selections. The top one that's in blue um, is one that you'll have to pay for. The one below that is the free version, like it says. So you'll click on that one, and you'll click install, confirm, and install that. Uh, once you have that and backgrounder installed, uh, you have all the things that are necessary for this. So you can go back to your home screen and find them. So here are mine, uh, the last two applications on this page, right over here. 
Um, so it's backgrounder and um, yeah, multi flow. So you'll click on backgrounder, and then once this loads up, you'll click control, and it gives you three options. Jeez, this uh, is lagging behind pretty bad on the computer. One second. All right, sorry about that. My uh, VNC viewer crashed on me. Um, but once you open up Backgrounder, you're gonna go into Control, and you're gonna give be given three options: the Home button, Power button, or None. Um, this is the button that you're gonna use in order to uh, toggle an application uh, to be on Backgrounder or off Backgrounder. So right now I have it to press and hold. Um, so when I'm trying to set something, you'll hold the Home button until it says that it's enabled, and I'll show you that later. Um, then you go back out and you'll go into multi flow prefs and open with. Wow, the NC viewer is definitely not working good today. Um, but once you go back, you're going to click on multi flow and then open with. And it gives you a few more options. Um, this is what you're going to use to open up the um, nice flow to go between the applications. So right now I'm it's such that I have to double tap the home button and that'll bring it up so you can choose what you want. Um, I'll go back to my home screen and in order to use this you are going to open up an application that you want to have set. Uh, so just for demonstration purposes I'll open up my settings and in order to set it like I chose before I'm gonna hold down the home button so it should take like a second or two and it'll pop up saying background or enabled or background enabled and then it'll automatically take you back to your home screen um, so now if I double click which is what you chose in multi flow if I double click it comes up and that's one of the tabs that I have so I can click on settings and it'll open it up and if you want to then take the um, settings off of multi-flow or background or whatever you want to call it, um, you're going to then hold the home button once again. And it'll come up and it says background and disabled. And then it'll go back to your home screen and you can double click and it'll be gone. So um, very easy to use. Um, I do like this um, feature. Uh, so... Uh, I hope you liked the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, just a quick shout out. I am uh, looking for a possible sponsorship opportunity. So if you would like to post your ads on my videos, um, just give me a shout. So, yep, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.